As a source of examples, we're going to define joint PDFs and we'll discuss their expectations. Definition. Suppose x is a random variable on R and Y is also a random variable on R. Then the pairing X Y is a random variable on R2 and the law PXY, that is the PDF governing X and Y, and the law is called the joint PDF of X and Y. In particular, P of X, we have to satisfy the two conditions. P of X, Y has to be greater than or equal to zero for all X, Y in our domain, R2. And the second thing is that P is Raman double integrable, or just Raman integrable. on all of R2. So we've only really discussed integration on rectangles so far, but we can always take improper limits of ever-increasing rectangles and define what it means to integrate over all of R2. And P of x, y, if I integrate over R2 with respect to A, I acquire 1. Now we can just write some examples. Let's start with a very simple joint distribution. So let's say P of X, Y is equal to, so we'll split up the definition, 1 times B minus A times D minus C if X, Y is in A comma B cross C comma D and zero otherwise. So the picture of this guy is in three dimensions. You know, if I've got A and B in my X direction and C and D in the other direction, well, I've got the support of this function on this rectangle ABCD, and the value it takes is just B minus A over D minus C. So it's just a constant. So it just looks like a little rectangular bump on that 
interval, and it looks zero. It looks like zero everywhere else. It just vanishes everywhere. So we, we of course want to satisfy those hypotheses, so we want to verify. Well, first of all, one, we've got that one over b minus a times d minus c, as long as, of course, we're assuming that b is greater than a and d is greater than or equal to c, and zero are all greater than or equal to zero. So since this only takes two values, we only have to check that these are greater than or equal to zero, and we're done. The second thing, well, p of x, y is continuous on a comma b cross c comma d, uh, so it's integrable. in the Raman sense. Of course, that's the only integral we know of right now. But also, if we integrate over the set, we'll just call it R for now, P, X, Y. So if we integrate, we just do a nested integral, of course. So this is going to be C to D, integral from A to B, 1 over b minus a d minus c so actually I want to integrate over all of r2 but ultimately because it's zero everywhere else I'm just going to be integrating over that rectangular region so now this will be dx dy well if we evaluate the x integral first we get integral c to d b minus a over b minus a times d minus c dy. So the b minus a will cancel out. And similarly, when I integrate over here, I get a d minus c in the numerator. And I'll eventually figure out that this is actually equal to 1. So this is a well-defined probability density function. And the trick was, and, and this is also called the uniform distribution, or the uniform density on AB cross CD. So it's uniform because the probability of any event is uniform throughout the area. You can think of it as a uniform density. So now let's do something a little more economicy. Well, let's suppose that we have a profit function pi of x, y is equal to 3. So let's suppose these are random variables. So let me write them as capital. So I've got 3x plus y with x, y, random variables on r. And suppose the pair x, y obeys the law or obeys the law of the joint distribution function or joint density function. the joint PDF and we're going to say that P X Y is going to be equal to 3 e to the negative 3 X minus Y if X and Y are both greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise So this is a relatively complicated probability, but it says that as I increase either x or y, 
I, the the probability of selling that much good, right? So there's a pro this is a profit function, right? So x and y are goods, and the amount sold is a random variable. But the probability that I sell a trillion goods, a trillion x goods, gets really really tiny. So there's there's only a range that we expect to see, and we want to know what's the expected value of the profit. So what is the expected value under PXY of pi? As we've seen, that's the integral over pi XY times the joint probability density function times dA, where we're integrating over R2. Well, of course, we want to do a nested integral now. And we have to deal with infinity, so we've got to uh, deal with an improper integral, so we'll have to take limits. And we can just compute this thing. So let's integrate with respect to x first on the inside. And we notice that we only have to worry about the integral from 0 to infinity since all other values are 0 of p of xy. So now we substitute in the value for the function. This is 3x plus y. That's our profit function. And now I substitute in my PDF, 3e to the negative 3x minus y dx dy. So the first thing is I'm going to take advantage of linearity of my nested integral. So this is going to be equal to the integral 0 to infinity, integral 0 to infinity, 9x e to the negative 3x minus y dx dy plus the integral from 0 to infinity the integral from 0 to infinity of y, or 3y, e to the negative 3x minus y, dx, dy. Now I've gone completely off the page. This is going to be equal to well, let's draw the 9 out here. Integral from 0 to infinity. Integral from 0 to infinity. And now uh, e to the negative y is constant, so I've got an e to the negative y. e to the negative 3x times x dx dy plus 3 integral from 0 to infinity y e to the negative y integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative 3x dx dy should have been an x now I notice that uh, this number right so this integral in here I can put the parentheses to emphasize is just a constant, so I can also draw it out. So that means that I've got two integrals here. I've got integral that I'm just going to multiply, x e to the negative 3x dx times integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative y dy plus, and then similarly for this guy, 3 integral from 0 to infinity e to the negative 3x dx times the integral from 0 to infinity y e to the negative y dy and ultimately what is that going to give me? Well Individually, these integrals are really simple, right? So this first integral is going to be 9 times. It turns out that this will give me exactly 1 9th. 
times, it turns out that this will be exactly one. And you should go through all that. So pause this and work through that on your own. This integral, 3 times the integral e to the negative 3x will just give me a 1. And this guy is going to give me a 1 as well.